Hello guys and welcome back to another video and another video on the M52 engine today and we are back working on the BMW 130i and we're actually going to be swapping out both of the Vanoff solenoids today. Now I don't have any running issues with my engine, you know it's not running rough, we don't have any uh, fault codes stored regarding the Vanoff system but I'm just going to be swapping out them for preventative maintenance. You know, my my engine has actually covered 127,000 miles now. So they're more than likely not going to be working um, as good as they would if they were new. Um, so I'm just going to be swapping them out. They're not very expensive to replace. I'm actually going to be replacing them with some Febby Bilstein Vanna solenoids. Now you have a couple of options when it comes to which Vanna solenoids you replace them with. Obviously you can go as cheap as possible, you know you can get some that are direct straight from China, they're probably going to be you know $20-$30 or so or you can go ahead and get yourself some genuine BMW or a genuine OEM equivalent like a Febby Bilstein. I haven't had any problems when it comes to Febby Bilstein. All of their parts seem to work as they are intended to. Um, so that's why I went with the Febby Bilstein parts today. Now, if of course you do want to purchase these exact Vanna solenoids that I am going to be installing today, there will be a link down in the description box. So go and check that out. Um, but yeah, I think without further ado, we'll get outside and uh, let's get cracking. Okay then, so when it comes to the removal of the Vanna solenoids, it's very easy to do. It's not a difficult task by any means. They are just located down here at the front of the engine bay. If you can see two shiny clips there, that is the electrical connectors. And then you will find a 10 millimeter bolt which holds the Vanna solenoid into the engine. Now to make it a little bit easier, I'm actually just going to move this pipe out of the way and move this pipe out of the way just so I have a little bit better access and show you guys in a little bit more detail. Now the first thing to do is remove these electrical connectors. You just need to push these clips in and then the connector should pull off. There we go, that's one removed. And there we go, that's the other electrical connector removed as well. And now all that's holding the solenoids in is a 10 millimeter bolt. I'll just show you on this mirror. As you can see, there is a bolt for each solenoid. There's just a 10 millimeter bolt. It shouldn't be very tight. It should only be done up to 10 newton meters. So I'm just going to take both of them out now and then the solenoids should then be able to be removed. Okay, yeah, definitely not done up tight at all. So there is the first bolt removed then. And there we go, that's the second bolt removed. And now the solenoids should just pull out. So I'm just gonna put some paper towel down there just to try and catch any dripping oil. I'm gonna try and remove the bottom one first. Take your time. There is the first solenoid removed. And there's the second solenoid removed. Okay then, so now that we have both of the original solenoids removed, just taking a look at them, you know, we can see they don't look, you know, too dirty. But then again, how dirty they look is not really an indicator of how well they work. You know, there could be something wrong internally in here which we cannot see. So I will still be replacing these out for the new Febby Bilstein solenoids. So for the time being, these are going to be put to one side. And here we have the new solenoids so I'm going to go ahead and get these open as you can see both genuine Febby parts both share the same part number you know obviously brand new nice and clean with fresh o-rings so I think we need to go ahead and go and install these 
And before you go ahead and install the new solenoids, it's actually a good idea to give the area a good clean up. Just clean around the where the O-ring would sit and uh, make sure everything is nice and clean. You don't want any debris falling into your engine. But once that is all nice and clean, we're ready to install the new solenoids. Okay then, so I'm going to start with the top one. And I'm just going to use the mirror to line up the bolt holes. Now I'm going to go ahead and install the bottom one. Now I'm going to go ahead and tighten both of the bolts down. And now that both of the bolts are nice and snug, I just need to torque them down to 10 newton meters. There we go, that's one done. And that's the second one done. And now I need to plug the electrical connectors back in. And now all that's left to do is fire it up and see how it runs. I'm just going to let the idle come down and just see what it sits at. Yep, seems to be sitting pretty stable at 600. Let's give it a rev. Yeah, it seems to rev freely, no hesitation. I think we need to take this for a test drive just to see how it drives. So let's take it for a little test drive, let's get it up to temperature and let's see if the timing advances correctly. Okay then, so I just got back from a little test drive and I'm happy to report that the car runs absolutely fine, you know, no issues, no check engine light or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I guess the, uh, the solenoids are working, um, you know, as they should. It's hard to really say if there's any kind of difference. Um, you know, I did do a couple of zero to 60 runs and it did pull very, very hard. Um, but then again, you know, like I said, there wasn't really any issues um, with the original solenoid. So it's hard to say um, whether there is an improvement with the new ones or not. Um, you know, it's just one of those things where it's good to um, change out with preventative maintenance and um, you know just to keep your uh, van off system working as it should and just to keep your engine um, fully maintained and uh, providing the full power um, so yeah it's not it's not a it's not the worst thing in the world to uh, swap out your van off solenoids you know it's a very very easy task to do and when you're over a hundred thousand miles or so um, it's well worth doing in my opinion um, but yeah, I hope this video has been somewhat helpful. I hope you have enjoyed it Please give this video a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you have not already done so because I've got a lot more videos coming this car and I will see you all in that next one Peace.